my name is Ali Yu, and I'll be presenting our paper, Don't Forget to Buy Milk, Contextually Aware Grocery Reminder Household Robot at ICDL 2022. Assistive robots generally require items to be available in the household to perform assistive tasks, such as setting up a table for breakfast. However, when these items go missing, the robot must remind its user to replace these items. Previous work on grocery reminder systems have focused on IoT devices that can only track a small number of items in a designated area. So in this paper, our goal is to present a computational architecture that can allow an assistive robot to keep track of regularly used household items over a long period of time, and then remind its user to replace the items when they are missing from the household. Our computational architecture, inspired by cognitive theories of memory encoding and learning, allows the user to interact with the robot using a graphical user interface and teach household contexts to the robot which are stored in the long-term memory. During daily operation, uh, the changes in the household environment can be tracked and stored in the short-term memory of the architecture, which can then be compared with the long-term memory to predict missing groceries from the environment over a long period of time, which can then be accessed using a graphical user interface by the user. We performed three experiments in a large indoor environment with four contexts and 10 common household items with the Fetch mobile manipulator robot. For the first experiment, the robot was able to accurately predict missing items from the household environment for three simulated weeks. Uh, for the second experiment, the robot was able to take into account items that were replaced during the week and avoid them from predicting in the missing grocery list. For the final experiment, the robot was able to look into the storage space uh, to avoid predicting items that were missing from the environment but were in the storage space. Overall, our results suggest that our system might have future uh, long-term applications for assistive robots. Thank you for listening and please email me if you have any further questions.